Hi, so in this video, I'm going to quickly try out the new release shortcut video editor. In version 18.03, it includes a sketch filter. Basically, what you can do is creating a simple sketch like this one. If you don't have the software, simply download it. Once you get it, in my case, I save it inside D drive program files and save it to whatever you want. You can also use it in USB because I use it before and it works. Then you just get inside, go to shortcut and then click the shortcut execution icon. This time should be fairly quick. Actually, if this is your first time using shortcut, you might see a blank interface. So you may add the timeline by clicking it and the filter and the export one. Usually I will add P meter as well properties. It's fine. So that's basically the interface that I'm working on. And let me add a photo or video to create a simple sketch. So you can either open file or Press Ctrl O. Then you select your video or picture. So in my case, I'm quickly creating an example picture. So I'll just pull it out from my Facebook. Simply go down to the filters and make sure you click the part of the video or image that you want to create sketch. Click filters. Then you go up to the filters interface and add a filter then you have all these filters to select simply go down to show video filters and then simply look for sketch then you have this you can now play around with the line width height contrast and color you can add some color right you can just add back the color like this you can just play around with the weight and the contrast, width, something like that. You can also resize it to whatever you want. Let me show you how I resize it. Going to size and position. Then you can use the fill, uh, yeah, something like that. And you can move around your photo. If you want to create multiple effects, then I will just go down to the track and then add one more video track. It's just control Y. Okay. I will just select the picture, control C, and then I press up arrow or you just click the area and then you press control Y to um, paste your photo or video. Then I select the one on top and then I go to actually you can you can add another filter is just size and position and then I just move it around. Okay, so this time I want the middle one with the sketch and then I play around with the sketch. Oops, maybe I need another color, no color, whatever. More contrast. It depends on your background. That's the limitation of shortcut because it's free and so it may not have as many features as Photoshop. Okay, so let me create another one on top. It's on the third channel. Then I go to size and position, and then I move to, I move it here. You can have many things to play around, and I just, maybe this time I do, I don't do the sketch. <laughs> okay, so that's the one. So if you want to export the image, you can either use the snip. To snipping to, crop it, or 
you can go to file export frame I just save it as output.png okay then I should you can close the window you can weld this one output okay oh excuse me so um that's basically it hopefully it helps thank you bye bye